Welcome to the mastermind class for doTERRA. It's our third one. We're going to um, just go over all of our goals and our action steps and the things that we've gotten to this point in breakout groups soon. But Hannah's leading us through um, the use of four oils to just get us in the right mindset. So she's going to tell you about that now. Awesome. Okay. So we are using cinnamon, one drop of cinnamon and one drop of wild orange right on your tongue. You can put it on your finger first and wipe your tongue or drop it straight on your tongue. It's strong, but it's very powerful. Cinnamon helps us connect with our power, right? So it gives us that confidence to move forward in our business and connect with our brilliant beauty and to see ourselves as truly valuable. And wild orange, as hopefully everyone on this call knows, is great for abundance. So abundant thinking, abundant mindset, bringing drawing down the actual physical abundance. So we always need to use wild orange um, when we're doing business. And then we put cypress, one drop of cypress and one drop of Siberian fir or Douglas fir on the crown chakra. Cypress to help keep th things flowing. It's great for circulation and moving things forward. And the furs help us to let go of past habits, maybe something that like we even inherited from a different generation that's like not really ours, whether it's ours or not, we are letting go of it and going with our new uh, motivated mindset, empowered. Nice, nice. Thanks, Hannah. So I loved the drop of the cinnamon on, straight on my tongue, not even like a swipe. I did the full mm -hmm. drop. It wasn't as hot as I expected, and I loved it. I'm going to keep that in my purse and keep doing that. And Hannah had suggested doing that before you go into um, speaking to new people or, like, I'm going to do it before I go into, like, the yoga studio or the different community settings that I am entering into now that the pandemic is slowing down a little bit um, and make that therefore making new connections and the cinnamons about living in your power, vibrating your value, really, mm -hmm. right? Which I think is an awesome characteristic to emphasize and that it makes total sense that cinnamon does that for you. Mm -hmm. So we figured out breakout rooms, so excited. And what we just thought for today's call, and the reason why we put two masterminds back to back Sunday and Sunday is because um, it would, if we did it every other Sunday, like we were patterning, it would take us into Pesach. So we wanted to get these two masterminds in before Pesach started. So um, that's why we have them back to back these last two Sundays. So, but today we thought we would kind of go over everything that we've gotten to, to this point in breakout groups. So um, I'm going to, we'll talk about like, like right now, I think we should go over our 90 day goals um, and the action steps. Like what is the rank that you wanna be in 90 days? What's the income that you wanna be in 90 days? You need to be clear on that. It's um, so because as we know in Bereshit, first there was the word. So you need to say what your goal is in order for Hashem and the universe and that divine source to help you achieve it. So rank and your financial goal, and we'll break out into groups, and I want everybody to be able to say that, and you can say your reasoning why behind that, and then we'll come back together, and then we'll talk about the action steps that we've been working on, your names list, and the daily actions you're taking with, with that names list. So let's first start with the breakout group. Does that sound right for you, Hannah? Does that sound good? chime in yeah. so it's um so i'm gonna just randomly put people in a room so i'm gonna do that right now and then so karen michaela yael and yehudit i should it did it put you guys together in breakout room one and then adaya hana leslie and rifka are in breakout room two and I don't have to go to a breakout room. It doesn't put me anywhere. <laughs> you get to go to both. You bounce. Right, I'll, I'll bounce. So <laughs> do you guys see then that down at the bottom of your screen, you should? No, you click it and then we'll get shifted there. 
Okay, I opened up all the rooms, so now you should see. So go to your breakout room and share your 90-day goal. Hi. Take care. Well, it worked. <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> That's fun. Yeah. Okay. So um, I guess I'll start just to get the flow going. I have never been a big fan of goals because I feel like I make them and I make a 90 day goal or a six month goal and then I don't achieve it. <laughs> I eventually do achieve it, but it's never according to the timing that I say. Um, so I really feel kind of like goals can be disappointing. So that's my my honesty there. But but I did make one because I felt like let's we're all doing this together and it's kind of a first time for all of us. So let's let's be beginners together. So my 90 day goal is to reach platinum. I'm rank I, I have the rank of platinum, but I reached it once and never reached it again. So um, my goal at the end of May is what I'm saying my 90 day period is end of May 2021 that I'll be platinum. And my monthly income, now I'm in the US, so I'm saying it in dollars, is $6,000 a month. <laughs> and um, down, uh, so we're looking at page 14, which I can share that with you guys if you wanted to look at it that again. But um, it just says rate like from one to 10, how I feel about me reaching it. I put 10, I'm gonna really go for it and try to re reach it. And one of the re main reasons is that just to help, um, I now I'm in New Mexico and I desperately want to come visit Israel. <laughs> so that's my reason why is to, that we need to have more of this type of income so that we can bounce back and forth between two countries um, comfortably with a family of six. And then we have these two homes that we're working on. So having the income to uh, put into these two homes to make them um, beautiful. So that's my that's my reason why. So let's just walk down the screen. Karen, you're next to me on the screen, so you go next. So I have a wishful goal and more realistic goals. So I don't know which one I should go by. Um, I, want to, I want to be gold within 90 days, but. I don't want to reach for something which is maybe not so doable. So maybe solid silver is more uh, realistic. Um, so the income is around two thousand um, dollars. And why? <laughs> because it's about time. <laughs> uh, and I want to start feeling. Um, and understanding the meaning of, of having this income from the Terra uh, in order for me to be able to accomplish everything that I wanted until now and I wasn't able because of uh, money issues. Mm -hmm. So now speak about gold. Just I just want to feel if it, how, how, if it feels different because silver felt a little like... Hmm. Because uh, because I want like in the conversation that I had with Erica, I told her that uh, this is my goal, and she told me yes, you can try. But when talking with her, it's like okay, like fantasizing about something which is not realistic. So I will just get disappointed. Mm -hmm. So gold, oh my God, I will be like, it will be heaven for me, and I want to feel that I'm experiencing heaven. So this is why, because I want to know what is the feeling of being in heaven. Uh, here <laughs> the terror heaven. Yeah. But also with my heart in heaven. <laughs> um, well, on that page is six a six month goal. Uh, after the 90 day goal is six month goal. Gold, yes. not gold. Yes. So that could be gold three months yes. later. Solid gold, yes. Mm -hmm. um, so it can be for 90 day, like three months, it can be solid silver, but really solid silver that I will keep it, not because of. I was so lucky, good. Yeah. promotion, yeah. Ta, 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 and six months, so it's uh, gold, and average of 4,000 US dollars. Yes, amazing. Good, yeah, El? Okay, so 
since you said elite is the base uh, base place to start with uh, and I once was elite I think there was a month when there was a bogo and I published publicized that I whoever wants to buy in Israel before they were doing it that you can buy all the bogos together and there were a lot of people who wanted so I got my elite card <laughs> which I didn't think there's anything into in it but anyway since we started at the beginning of each week I'm putting it on the table so I can see it um, basically I would like that I will be elite and you did will be elite uh, I can't think about silver because at the moment I have no legs <laughs> actually right. so to be to be realistic is to say okay that I'll be elite and you did will be elite and there's a lot of shame you will send me the next two legs so I can be silver <laughs> but yeah. Yeah, if you're but, and so the if you're if you're elite and you did is elite, then you'll actually be executive, which is the step of yeah. Most of the elite. month, I think I'm getting to executive. Oh, executive! But, is, oh, oh, executive is before elite. What's after elite? After elite is premier. After elite. Oh, premier. That's what you'd be. Yes, but oh. I think that for premier, you need to have, have two legs. Two legs, right, right, right. So, mm -hmm. at the moment. I'm looking at what I have and I'm saying, okay, elite. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but okay. not only me, you did as well. Because <laughs> right. I need her to be in a good mood. <laughs> it's very it's very helpful to have her. I mean, yeah. I'm saying, okay, maybe I'll do... Nah, 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 nah. And she says, mm, that's a very good idea. And then she's going and talking with people, which I don't do. Mm -hmm. And then tonight before we joined, I had another Zoom call about, never mind, there was only one person who joined except you did. But I think I'm going to do every week, half an hour, talking about three oils each time. And after, wow. I'll, after I'll go through the basic kit and then maybe the emotional kit and maybe the kids kit, and I'll start by an alphabetical order. To just Great. put three, because half an hour seems like a, something that I can commit to. Mm -hmm. And then I will have half hour videos that I can put on my YouTube channel. Right. And then I can tell people, well, if you want to, you can go and see. I'm speaking yeah. about it in. Yeah, that's great. Because basically what I want to have is my site where everybody from all the groups in Israel who speaks Hebrew will come to my site to read about oils and then will subscribe to the site because then I'm going to uh, translate uh, what's in the books about uh, how to treat all kinds of ailments. Wow, That's great. where I want to go. <laughs> great, great, great. So now you're going into action steps, which we're not quite there yet, but you might have to repeat this in the next breakout room. Um, so you, Deet, what's your goal? Even though, yeah, I'll already told us, but we want to hear it from you. No, that's my goal for her. Maybe oh, she oh, has a okay. better goal. Right, <laughs> maybe. Well, no, I think everything <laughs> going to be great because, um, you know, I was, I was uh, writing my family to be my my download, my beneath yeah, me, my. Mm -hmm. and um, it didn't really succeed. They were not so. Um, they were very. They, they everybody really enjoyed the oils and everything, but uh, nobody is continuing to 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 buy or to use uh, in a you know in a monthly. Yeah. Uh, way so um so i was i was quite uh, like uh, it's never going to happen that somebody want would want to that i can write somebody beneath me but uh, just uh, today and i i talked to a friend and she's really interested so i am really 
happy. Maybe, maybe okay. yeah, may have yeah. one. Yay! And uh, <laughs> so it opens the the possibility that it can happen. Right. Also, to me. right. And yeah. the this uh, Zoom meetings that the IR started, it's it's really make it it gives me a lot of force. Like, okay, so she can do it. So she's doing it. So it's great. It can be. And also, like she has this knowledge and this huge huge knowledge. So I have my back that I can I can really use, and I'm using it. <laughs> yeah, great. Amazing. Uh, calling her to to help me and. Um, uh, so maybe I I hope so I hope so it's gonna happen. It will. It will. <laughs> All right. So we're let's go back to um, so you leave the room on your on your corner and we'll go back to the main and talk about the next thing that we're gonna um, share with each other. So everybody leave. <laughs> <laughs> so make sure you leave the breakout room, not the meeting. Oh, good. So they're still, it seems like they're still all, um, they're still, yeah. Oops, I gotta, you guys, you guys are all muted. When you came back into this room, you, it just automatically muted you guys. Okay. Um, they're taking longer than us. I could Maybe just, you should go and tell them. Oh, yeah. How that's right. long I, is it going to take? You okay, have the I'm ability. Gonna, yeah, that's right. I'm gonna go get them. I'll see you in a second. Stuff that need you need to do a stage for. Some of them have gone back to class, but um, that's pretty much the extent of it right now. Uh -huh. So right, I guys, I'm interrupting you. We're we're you're only doing goals right now, not your action steps, right? And we want to go we back to the talk, main. We got off topic a little bit and talked about yeah. maybe having a, doggy, a class about doggies. So yeah, great. <laughs> So did everybody get to cover their goals? Because then I want us to go back to the meeting and then we're going to talk about the action steps that we're taking. Did everybody get to say their goals? Your goals? No. Not yet. Not yet? Who didn't do their goal yet? So Leslie, what's your goal? Strong elite. Amen. Because I'm elite, and, but not strong. And okay. do you have an idea of what that income, is, like what that commission is, that amount? Um, I thought I wrote it down. It's like covering my, it's like three to five sort of thing. Yeah, I think I wrote 200, yeah. 250 euros. 300 like range. Yeah, exactly. I'd like to say premier, chance. but I don't think that's realistic at this stage. <laughs> my problem is I can't get builders. And a lot of my regular members aren't ordering even monthly. Right. So it's like you don't, you can't get builders yet. Like, cause you don't yeah. want to like set a, your- And even like, the ones we were hoping to build have all of a sudden decided not to build. Right, yeah. and that's the nature of this business. Yeah. Like people yeah. discover really what the type of work it takes to really build yeah. and they, they slide back into just, you know, casual customer or sharer or right. regular yeah. customer. And, and that's okay for the people to just discover that because you, when you want to be a builder, it takes commitment. It's a job. It's you know, it takes work, as we know. Um, uh, Hannah, did you share? I didn't. So my goal is to um, get solid at silver, but really my one-year goal is to be at gold. Yeah. Which means Leslie, your premier. <laughs> I know. <laughs> In a year, mm -hmm. you Six can get comfortable at elite. That's fine. I'm happy to be. No, so I would first, love a year to be premier. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And a diet. Did a diet? Can you? Can you? Can help. you unmute? Okay. All right. So everybody, go to leave the room on your right hand you corner. What? You oh. oh that's leave breakout room. You want to leave breakout room to go back to the meeting. Ken. Ken. ונתתי את כל כולו, ואז אז, אז עדיף שזה ייקח קצת יותר זמן, אבל שהם יהיו מושלמים, ואני לא דוגלת בשלמות, אבל ספציפי פה, <laughs> כן. אני אעשה הכי מדויק שאפשר. אוקיי, okay. okay. so we're all back. We lost Michaela, she had to get on another doTERRA call. But her goal is 
to be solid silver um, looking for her third builder because she has a third leg but without a builder so only volume so she's looking for her third builder and being solid silver in this 90 day goal so then our next thing is there's action steps that you're taking to achieve this 90 day goal and it would be pointless to just have a goal and then not do anything towards it so the action steps that um, doTERRA guides us in in this build, business building um, guide which I haven't mailed off to you guys yet but it's in my plans for this week is creating your names list of people that you want to speak to about the oils um, looking at them from a, a wholesale customer point of view or trying the oils or maybe they you have them in mind as looking at the business opportunity but everybody starts out as a customer you know like it's good to always I feel like I my I start everybody out as a wholesale customer customer these days and when they're ready they upgrade and you can put them into the position you want if it's if they've upgraded after 90 days but if they're saying they want to do the business then um, that's okay I mean there's people in our lives that have come into our doTERRA company our doTERRA business that said I want to do it from the beginning and they have so then you would um, enroll them as a wholesale or a wellness advocate but your names list so the action steps that we're going to talk about in this next breakout room is did you start creating your names list um, and how are you going about that is there um, are you having any issues with that or what are your successes with that and then the daily actions which was on page 19 where it's like going through that names list and connecting with two new people and how are you connecting with them are you inviting them to an event that's already happening are you creating new events and inviting them to that are you sampling to them are you asking them to get on a one-on-one -on -one call with you so that's what we're going to talk about in the next breakout room and i get to just randomly scramble you guys again so let's see um because i think it'd be fun to oops wait ah close all rooms okay there we go um let me just get out of that real quick i think there's actually somebody in the waiting room let me let them in <laughs> to manage there's someone in the waiting room and now i got to get us into the breakout room um okay so <laughs> Sarah, you just joined a sweet, sweet thing. I hope you can hear us. Um, we're going to break in. I'm going to set it, put us into breakout rooms. I'm going to recreate it and so that we get scrambled into new rooms. Uh, it says she's still connecting. Oh, she's still connecting. Oh, but it did put her in a breakout room. Um, it keeps putting UD and Yael together. Like it has like this thing where it wants you guys to be together. <laughs> <laughs> he knows where we need to do, where we need to go. Right. And he knows we are together. <laughs> right. Okay, so now um, Rivka, Sarah, Yael, and Yehudit are in breakout room two. I'll join that room first to let Sarah know what we're doing. And then Adaya, Hannah, Karen, and Leslie also, Hannah and, and Leslie keep going together. You guys are in breakout room one. So, um, Hannah, you lead room one in what we just said, and I'll see you guys soon. I'm going to room two. Okay, rooms are open. Go ahead and join. Hello. Hi, Sarah. So I'm going to just catch you up that we've been going over the business training um, guide. You can download it um, on doTERRA.com. And we are talking about our names list. And in that names list, you're putting down names of people that you want to contact um, and share doTERRA with them. So we all just got back from breakout rooms of saying our 90-day goals of elite or beyond um, and the income that that would start to bring into our life getting our oils paid for or going beyond that and going beyond that 
And then there's action steps to get to those goals. Your names list and starting to put people on this list of, of who you want to share the oils with because you think that they would get it, they'd, they'd be into it, they'd really, uh, we, everybody would benefit from it, but would they understand that benefit and want to, you know, want to start getting involved with using the oils? And then the daily actions with that names list is then you have to go through that names list and keep adding to it, but also contacting those people. And then they go into what's called the success tracker and the success tracker is like a names list, but then you're writing on there like you talked to them, you shared a sample with them, you followed up with them, you invited them to a Zoom call that someone's giving or you created a Zoom call and you're gonna talk to them. So I want, that's what we're gonna talk about and who wants to go first, just chime in. Did you start your names list? Is that diff is that easy? Is that difficult? Um, and then, right? And then, are you contacting people on that names list? Okay, so I looked at the names list. I've written mm -hmm. maybe one name, and then I said, "That's not what I'm going to do. I'm not going to call people. It's just not. It's not a way that I can work. I mean." I, there is, I don't remember who told me this uh, image, okay? But there are people who are sperms and there are people who are eggs, okay? <laughs> An egg just sits there and all the sperms run to it. So I'm an egg. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> That's good. I love it. Yeah. I so, <laughs> I mean, I, I, Whenever I even try to think in this direction, everything gets too complicated yeah. for me. So I do do stuff. I mean, yeah, so this is what we want to hear. Like this is the mindset. So like, what I do, uh, what, what I am willing and what I want to do is to make a place where people who speak Hebrew can go to and read about oils from logical sources. I mean, I'm translating things from books that are based on science, that are based mm. on doTERRA's products. And eventually I want to have a site where there will be outside, there will be a knowledge that is in the list. I don't know if it's still relevant. They had a list of uh, acceptable claims uh, by the FDA that I downloaded two years ago and I'm translating it one, one thing after the other. So I thought this will be in the outside. And then to make a Interesting. Paid, paid part where I'll translate stuff that is about medical conditions, a, a, all kinds of, a, well, how do you use the oil specifically for stuff? I mean, mm -hmm. if you mm -hmm. have oil magic book, you know that you have the protocols for all kinds of ailments. Mm -hmm. So things like that, that will be behind bars because right. I don't want to get, <laughs> first of all, it's a lot of work, so people should pay. But also I want it to, I want to have a very strict definition of I'm going into this thing I know what I'm doing. I mean, I've already read about oils. It's not, I'm not new to it, to it mm -hmm. and I can, I can be more professional in what I'm doing with myself. Mm -hmm. So this is my action steps. I right, mean, that's right. Right. right, that's it. And you also are starting to do Zoom lessons. Yes, in Hebrew. Um, right, so then you're the egg doing the Zoom lesson and the, the sperm are coming to the Zoom lesson through Yael or people that you, it's easier to tell people when you have a Zoom lesson versus yeah. just calling somebody and saying, do you want to talk about oils? Like, yeah. so. And then you, when it, it will be on YouTube or whatever, mm -hmm. people will be able to get to me from there. You said mm -hmm. that uh, 
part of your uh, builders came to you when you started putting things on YouTube mm -hmm. and then serious people came to you mm -hmm. because they saw you and they knew that, okay, I want to work with this one. Yep. Yeah, exactly. So I have to agree with you, Al. Like I'm not an expert here. That's why we're doing this mastermind class is like we want to hear what works for people and what doesn't like i make a names list i only have 13 people on it so it's not like super big at this point um and i just added a new person today and and the idea is like from a doTERRA perspective it it there's a range like there's some people that say like nate put 100 people on there and there's others that say like try to add one or two new people every day, which is my way of doing things. That's more reasonable. And um, I don't call them and say, hey, it's Kara, let's talk about essential oils. I have lessons, like every week I have lessons and that's my way of inviting them. Then I look at my names list and I invite them to a lesson. Um, because I'm the same way. I'm not going to just call somebody up randomly and say, I want to talk to you about doTERRA and essential oils because it doesn't feel authentic. It's not, even though some people do that, that's totally fine. But for me, I have lessons and I invite these people to that lesson. If they can make it, great. Then I mark that on the success tracker. They're coming to lesson. If they can't, I do ask, are you interested in the next one or would you want to talk about it um, privately one-on-one -on -one, because then that gives you kind of that open door of like oh man I can't make it to that one tell me about another one or yeah let's talk privately that's better for me anyways um, so that's the way that I do it and like the first two people on my names list they've already enrolled like I like I walked them through the steps like I didn't give them a sample I just invited them to a zoom lesson they came to the Zoom lesson. Then I followed up with them after the Zoom lesson to, to, to give them the list of oils that I talked about. And if any of those oils they're interested in bringing into their, it was a skincare lesson. So any of those oils they're interested in bringing into their skincare, they said, yes. I said, okay, great. I'll, I'll put together how much it would cost with the membership and you can decide from there. And I sent them that, they're, they were like, yeah, that's great. And this was all through text messaging and WhatsApp. And then they're like, okay, great. Yeah, enroll me. And then they are enrolled. And <laughs> now the next step is they get their oils and it's the wellness consultation. So it can be as simple as that. Um, but so let's hear from um, Rifka and Sarah. I know you guys are kind of more new to this. Like, do you have a names list started or have you thought about your names list? Sarah, you go first. Okay. Um, I, I have been reaching out to people just, you know, because like people mentioned different health concerns and so I say, oh, you know, this thing might help. Um, I've been using that with my family and it works really well. But um, I haven't been really getting any bites, you know, like people don't seem to go to the next step. Mm -hmm. um, so I think um, I'm missing something in terms of the success of transitioning from getting people interested into actually, um, you know, enrolling or getting, getting oil. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because I've had a lot of people ask me things and show interest and then not want anything. <laughs> so I don't know. I, I mean, it could just be that I see that people are also kind of shocked by the price. Um, they think, you know, oh, I just, I could just get one from the health food store. They're so much cheaper. And I'm like, yeah, but they're definitely not going to do the same thing. Um, you know, they're not the same quality. Mm -hmm. doesn't seem to translate into a change of action. So I'm not really sure where to go from there. Okay. So anybody have any advice for Sarah besides me? Well, the quality issue, um, I tell them well, if it's just also because it's a better quality, then you don't have to use as much and as often. So you're going to, you're going to probably get more bang for your buck, so to speak, because the oil will last a lot longer without having to, replace it so as often because I know some of the stuff that's on 
some of the local markets where I am um, isn't as good a quality as the doTERRA stuff for sure. And well, to show people that, uh, you know, like I'll, I'll take uh, lavender oil that's just from the local pharmacy and then I'll take the one from doTERRA and you have to use a lot more to get the same effect. So. Right. Or even to get an effect at all. Right. 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 I mean, the other thing is, is like, um, Sarah, how do you feel about starting to do like a Zoom lesson, like a 30 minute Zoom lesson to start covering, you know, two to three oils on a less or three oils, like Yael gave this example and that she's doing it. And I think it's brilliant. Um, and everybody has their own little communities that they're serving and that, that, that they can reach out to. But there's something about having a lesson about introductory to oils, how, why the quality of doTERRA is different, and then maybe covering two or three oils in the home essentials kit and how to use it and inviting people from your names list to that so that you can start to shift into this, uh, you know, authority or expert position of, of, of teaching your experiences and your family's experiences with doTERRA and the quality of doTERRA and the oils of doTERRA. Do you so feel like it's a little intimidating because I, I feel like you just kind of have to fake it till you make it like, <laughs> just do um, it, you know? Um, like I, mean, I don't really feel like an authority. Well, you are in your personal experiences with the oils and like in the beginning, that's what you're, that's what you want to teach is like, how do you use lavender in your home? And then you can state the, the scientific research behind lavender, a few facts behind lavender that could just come from one of the handouts from doTERRA, the natural solutions handout, for example. Um, like that's a great handout to start using. Um, and I can send it to anybody that wants it, but the natural solutions handout, um, where do I have it? It's, um, you can get it, you can order it in your back office. Um, just like you can order the, but you can, I mean, we're all zooming with anybody anyway, so you can even download it. And then it just guides you through these first three things like, what is an essential oil? What makes doTERRA's oils differently? And then boom, there's three oils that you could talk about how you use them. And that could be your first lesson. And you just have this handout showing on the screen and you just go over it. But when you talk about the three oils, use your personal experience with those oils. Um, and that's how you start. And then, you know, maybe you'll have one person on the call, maybe you'll have two per people on the call, and then you can just follow up with them of what did you think about lavender? You know, I can add it. I can, maybe the, those, your clientele's not ready to enroll and get a whole starter kit, but they are willing to put a, they want lavender and you can put it on your order, you know, and then sell them just one lavender. Sometimes that's, that's the starting point. That is the starting point for a lot of people. Um, and I can tell you that if you do, if you do a lesson, uh, have a friend to be on the other side. So even if no one comes, you can still do the lesson, record it, and uh, put it online on YouTube. So you you have a footstep somewhere. I mean. I'm only beginning, but this is what I'm doing now. Yeah. And it also gives you the practice. And it's like, maybe just do that for the first time anyways. Like, don't invite anybody. Just invite a friend that you want to practice with. This is what we, you did and I did. We invited you this friend and we did a private lesson. Mm -hmm. uh, and I did record it and I put it on YouTube, but as a private thing. So no one except her and us can go into it. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. if she wants to look at it again or something like that. But it was, after we did that, I felt that, okay, okay, then I can do it. I mean, it's not so frightening. I just need to arrange stuff in, in advance and okay. Yeah. I even started to make, a, how do you call it? PowerPoints. Right, yeah. amazing. Lots of books. Yeah. 
So Rivka, do you want to share have, like a view? Or yeah, you do. I just have another uh, idea. I I bought and I make these small bottles. And uh, so if it's expensive for somebody, so he can try or she can try the small bottle. And if it works, then uh, they, when, it, when it ends, then uh, they can order the bigger one mm -hmm. when they already know that it works. And also I bought this key holder uh, that have eight oils and I put in like the, the oils in the essential kit. Only I changed the oregano and the, the deep blue with um, orange and I don't know what I put there, something with just a cheaper oil. And so they can have a, a really nice set that they, they can start to use. Mm, and it costs like, well, I don't know, 150 shekels or something. And they have everything, like 40 um, drops, drops of, mm -hmm. of everything. So it's a good start and it's a cheap start. So maybe it can be a good idea for, for Sarah. Yeah. For our Sarah. people here. Yeah, that's good. Really good. Like, you know, um, they're sold mm -hmm. out in America, but do they have those little doTERRA keychains available in Europe? Yes. But then you so. open it up and it has eight little um, three quarter bottles. dram bottles that oh, hold 40, cool. 40 drops. And then you can make the essential oil kit for people, excluding if you want to, the essential, the main essential oil kit is 10. So you would have to you know, that one only carries eight. And like Yudit said, you'd make like the basic kit for somebody in an eight oil, um, three quarter dram, so, and 150 shekels. People could get started with the starter kit for 150 shekels. Or um, if somebody wants to just try a lavender, um, we used to have this um, dr uh, shekel per drop, uh, handout where you could say, okay, I'm giving somebody a 40 drop lavender. It's 30 shekels or something like that. Um, that's another way, Sarah, that you can get people started on just these little more affordable starts. And then once they see, see that it works and then, then they're willing to invest the 90 shekels or the hundred shekels in a lavender. Yeah. Right. It goes together with the, with the knowledge. And if, if you you have the the zoom classes and they can learn more and you know it goes together to know the oils and to get them like little by little yeah maybe. yeah great that's a great 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 suggestion so Rifka, then we got to go back to the other breakout room so um or the so other neat, main room the neat thing that i saw on on a series of lectures i was doing on uh, with somebody I don't know if you know him, Benjamin Hardy. He does a lot of like a, a mindfulness type of uh, classes, like how to think more positively type of thing. And what he does is he actually he at the end of a, a he does a bunch of he's to the point where he's doing recorded sessions already, obviously as well as live. And you go in and you watch the video, and then at the bottom, he's, if you make a suggestion of somebody who you think might be um, might be interested in hearing a little bit more or coming to one of his free sessions um uh then you can get like um points for doing that and you can get like extra little like these little handout sheets or or or, or an extra session with him or whatever so that's also um that's worked really well for me in the past and other things you know if somebody gives me a referral to a client and that's uh you know i throw in a little bit something extra for them in, in the next time we're together so that that kind of works too yeah a little extra oil but, um, a pretty good week all things considered i as i was saying in the other group i have a, a meeting next week uh willing with the uh the gusha uh doggy pound so to speak the veterinarian for where the stray doggies get picked up and get taken to so i have a meeting next week with uh with somebody through with the help of through somebody who helps me to rescue doggies here in a frat so she she volunteers there so i was talking to her about different things about dogs and how to use the oils to help the dogs and she set up an appointment she liked it so much she set up an appointment for me to for the th the three of us to meet so 
Great, good, great. So that's like the first name on your your list, your <laughs> names list, yeah. and you can already go to a meeting, like check off that you're gonna have a meeting with them. Great, yeah, so amazing. And actually, I have two vets, two vets um, as as well. That um, one is my my doggie's vet, and and one is a local vet that um, I, I know I know through other people that go through her. And so we're we haven't set a time yet either one of those, but we've already discussed it. Um, and then there's a local guy here that does doggy grooming, who is also um, who is also interested in finding out more about it as well. So, great, awesome, Rivka. So as you can tell, Rivka's niche is animals <laughs> and essential oils. <laughs> right. So we're gonna go back. To Maybe the also room. like like go ahead. They have this uh, cosmetics for dogs, and the, my mother told me that in Hungary that she takes the dog all a, a few times, like monthly, and uh, that they put on them all kind of uh, beautiful things and um, wow. shampoo and whatever. So maybe, <laughs> uh, Rivka, you can, you can also uh, check out uh, places where they make uh, haircuts and all kind of cosmetics for dogs. Right. Yeah, yeah, like the, for sure. I was just talking about that. Actually, there's uh, there you can add stuff into the shampoos when they when they take the dogs to the salon as well. And the other thing I was talking to, to Kara earlier this week or last week about uh, is there is a little pendant that can hang on your doggy's collar, and it's in the shape of a doggy bone, and you can put oils into that. So that's really cool. Yeah, like those aromatherapy necklaces that people yes. wear. They have them for the collars for the dogs, and like you could put, like if the dog was having anxiousness or not feeling grounded, <laughs> you could put balance or lavender. So cute, so cute, and like <laughs> doggy owners would buy those because I know dog yeah. owners. They're like they need the doggy very. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> nice. dogs are like like children, especially here in America. So we're yes. gonna go back because we're running out of time. Let's go back to the main room. We're gonna do okay. one more breakout, but let's leave this breakout room and go back to the main room to so leave breakout. So you have to refine that message right. so that you can find them because you're not really looking for anyone right now. You're, it's great. You're willing to talk to anyone you meet, which do that also, but in order to, um, to know what you're doing each day, you have to define your message more, define your group more. Yeah. Right. Oh, so that's the next topic, which is we're <laughs> gonna we're gonna have one more breakout room is defining our message. Like, um, oh, I can't and, stay out much longer. Yeah. Okay. So did here. did you guys get through this first this part of the breakout room? Because yeah, yeah. we. Okay. So let's get in, back into the main room. Okay. And we'll finish the last topic. And if you have to go, you go, okay? Yeah, I think it would be good to share all together so people can share how they're finding people when we like here, we're living almost constantly in a lockdown. Okay. Let's go okay, into so Let's go back, yeah. Go back, leave this breakout room. He gives me paw, he gives me a hug. He's, he's adorable, he's adorable. They just need love and they just need to be treated right and they deserve to be treated right. Amen. Um, okay, so the other group is joining us, and we are kind of running out of time because it's supposed to be an hour and 15 minute call. Um, so, Hannah, you're, you're here, right? Because um, the next section is going to take more than five minutes. So, Hannah had an idea of all of us when we're all together sharing how are we connecting with new people during this time of the pandemic, which makes it challenging is that kind of your main question yeah i've been thinking about it a lot today and on previous days um in general i barely go out and um you know i have like my little stuff anyway i feel like most people are mainly home and dealing with family stuff so i thought we could share here as a group how are you meeting new people how are you reaching new people is it all online has anyone found anything, um, you know, that's working for them that they could share? Doggy park. 
doggy park. Yeah, and that's her awesome. niche is like going, that's her niche right. of essential oils with animals and people, awesome. animal lovers. Right. Um, and so she's going to the doggy park. Um, I mean, I've heard this over and over again from, um, you know, successful entrepreneurs, not just in the network marketing arena of like getting involved in a hobby, you know, but that again, it's challenging during this time because our hobbies opening here in the United States, things are starting to open up and then you can go to things in person. And so that's how you meet new people. So for me, it's like I started a new yoga, going to a new yoga studio that is open up. I mean, we all have to wear masks the entire time. So it's challenging to meet new people when your face is covered up, but I'm just, I just do it like, Hey, I'm Kara. This is how I look from here up. <laughs> and, um, you know, and then, and starting a conversation of first just connecting and getting to know the person, not, not with the plan of bringing up doTERRA at all. Um, in that first conversation, even though in general people ask what you do. So that was really what the next breakout group was, is like, what do you tell people when they ask you what you do? Um, so, so yeah, like what's, I mean, I feel like the best, one of the best things is putting, you know, starting to get comfortable with doing any type of education on zoom and you and uh, i mean that's the other the second way that i do it is i am consistent at doing a zoom lesson every week and i loved yael's um example of just 30 minutes of going through three oils in the the basic kit until she she gets through all the the whole kit and then three oils in the emotional kit i mean we could all do that we could all duplicate what yael's doing and be teaching to totally different people mm -hmm. and um and putting it you know marketing like putting a post on a whatsapp group or putting a post on a facebook group or putting a post on instagram you have to mm -hmm. I, I think the reality is you have to start getting more comfortable with these platforms because we're not out there as much um and maybe in the beginning only one person joins like yael said or Yael also gave a great suggestion if you're just starting out, just invite a friend to be on it. Don't invite anybody else. Just invite one friend and practice. Mm -hmm. And then, but record it and then you have it to give to people and put it up on YouTube. Um, it, so I don't want to be the only one speaking about this point. Please, what, what are some other ways that people are meeting, that you're meeting people to then be able to put them on your names list, you know? I'm sending you Udit. <laughs> yeah, you're just she sending is, Udit. She's the messenger. Yeah. <laughs> because she knows how to connect and she's out there. I mean, she's in a kindergarten. So there are parents of the kids and she has kids of her own that are at schools. So she has connection with their teachers. So, and she can say, yes, I used it for, and it was amazing. Yeah. This is why I, keep nagging her yeah yeah, yeah i so just won't go away i had a <laughs> i had a um like a mother complaining about the uh, purim um, um you know that women went out and danced together in purim night and if the kindergarten teachers did it so maybe it's not so good that they come and to work next day because they they can be harm to Exposed, children. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I said, um, "Yeah, I don't. I didn't check what what my kindergarten teachers did in Purim night, but but I know that I put and I wrote a like a letter to all the parents that I put the diffuser in the gun and I put in it the oils that help to to clear the air and to." to avoid their children getting sick and that's what I can do and mm -hmm. I wrote the the oars names and so 
Amazing. And you reach 30 people that way. You reached yeah. out to 30 people. And now they, they say that everybody has a um, um, running nose. So I said, okay, so maybe if you would like that, we can put on some air on their, on their foot. And I told the kindergarten teachers to put in the diffuser air. So maybe it can help. Mm -hmm. oh. Great. Amazing. Perfect. That's a great, great tip for people that that have kids and you're out that's one way that you're out there still making yes, contact half day, I am wiping their nose so I have an interest <laughs> also. yeah exactly right. yeah and putting oils in masks yeah that's yeah. great yeah mm -hmm. right, a so, lot of people have anxiety about wearing them so when someone tells you that or they're complaining about the masks you can offer them something to put on their mask and they can, you can put it on the outside of the mask. It doesn't have to be up against their skin. Right, so we're not gonna have time to do the last part of this call, but it's totally fine because I feel like in two weeks when we meet again, this is your homework to do pages 25 through 26. So you need to download the business building guide at doTERRA.com, go to the Empowered Success um, Guides and it's in there. And the pages that you wanna look at is 25 and 26. Seek, getting clear on the mindset of the people you're seeking and your mindset of the people you're seeking that you wanna serve. And then what are the solutions that you're wanting to offer for people? It's be getting clear on your message. And then what are, um, um, what are by understanding by, and understanding what you want to solve for people and the value that you give to people. So the thing that I really so I want you to work on those because those are going to help you to create what's called what you do and it's called a value articulator statement. So when somebody says, "What do you do?" You have this one, you know, thirty second thing that you say like and it's it's saying I help who who do you help to solve what what are you wanting to help those people solve so that what are the results that you're wanting that person to have unlike the less favorable alternative because um, this is what makes you different what this is the value that you offer so Here's an example, a wife, she's a wife, a mother, a teacher, uh, and a postpartum doula. I help mothers discover essential oil solutions so they can have their babies at home as an alternative to traditional hospital births because birthing can be so beautiful and natural at home. That's like when somebody says, what do you do? That's what she says, beautiful. So I'm still working mine out too, but by next week or in two weeks, I'd like us to do right away, go into a breakout group, say our articulator statement of when someone says, what do you do? You can say it beautifully. And then the next chapter is inviting people because you really have to know what you do because when people in passing or in the bathroom at the yoga studio or in the parking lot of picking up at gone when they say what are you doing these days or what are you up to um, during this pandemic what are you doing you need to be able to say and then that leads you into the ability to invite them to know more about doTERRA or a lesson that you're giving or a one-on-one -on -one. and that's going to be the whole the whole lesson for next in two weeks. Awesome. Does that sound good, Hannah? It sounds I'm great. I'm just like, well, we're gonna get, <laughs> we're gonna get through this. We're gonna get through it because I think it's really, yeah. really amazing. And um, so, what you do? Work on that page twenty six. Um, is there any comments or questions before we go? Just curious where everybody's located. Everybody I on this call is in Israel. Cool. <laughs> except you. you. <laughs> yeah, except for me. I was Dakota. 
I was part of Tokoa for it's okay. around in the Golan. Golan, I'm in the Gush. Yeah, I'm in Golan. Golan. I'm in Jerusalem. I'm from Haifa. Haifa. Haifa, wow. Haifa. And Adaya can't unmute herself, but she's in Spot. She's in where? Spot. Oh, Spot. Ah. And it's beautiful. So we really miss people from the south. Yeah, we, don't, we, we have don't people have from the center the and up, up north. <laughs> right, right. We don't have anybody in the south. So if anybody knows anybody in the south, put them on your names list. And also, <laughs> and also Tel Aviv. Don't have any Tel Aviv yes. presence here. So um, th thank you, everybody, for being on. Um, thank you. In two, so the next class is, let me just, because I was mistaken about um, the dates for this one. So the 21st? But, it is yes the 21st okay. sunday the 21st that's like what right before pesach but just give yourself and in the shavua where there is here yeah yeah okay <laughs> and then work on your page 26 your articulator statement because that's what we'll start out with right away in a breakout group okay, okay.